What is reality? The question is both simple and infinitely complex. Reality is what exists. It's what determines true from false. It's what doesn't go away when we stop believing in it. But what is reality? Is it matter? Theories? Concepts? Consciousness? The trouble with this question, and one of the reasons it took so long to make this video, is that there's enough philosophy on reality to fill up an entire channel. And that should be hosted by someone with a philosophy degree, not a physics degree. So feel free to yell at me in the comments for all the things I get wrong. The field of philosophy that studies reality is called metaphysics. And there are two theories of metaphysics in particular that I want to talk about today. Physicalism, the idea that reality is made out of physical stuff and relations. And phenomenalism, the idea that reality is made out of conscious perception. Before we get into the details of these theories, I want to quickly go through a list of other ideas, some of which overlap or have traits in common. Realism is the idea that things are real and have existence in and of themselves. Idealism suggests reality is made out of ideas. It's what we see and believe and talk about that's real. And we can ignore things out of existence and believe new things into existence. Materialism says reality is made out of substances wood, air, metal, neurons, light waves. Platonism says that the reality we see is just a reflection of the true reality, the reality of forms. In this reality, there's only one of every object, one cup, one door, one person. And every person imitates the form of a person. Every door imitates the form of a door. Naturalism says reality flows along streams of unconscious processes. Supernaturalism says reality is determined by the will of conscious spirits beyond the material. A meta-narrative is the belief that reality is acting out a grand story from the beginning to the end of time. And pragmatism says reality is whatever works. This list is by no means complete, but the point is that I recognize there are other ideas beyond the focus of this video, physicalism and phenomenalism. Physicalism is the big brother of materialism. As physics probed smaller and smaller scales, it looked less and less material and more, how can I put it? Like ripples of empty space trading momentum and energy? See our quantum physics series. Materialism has connotations of the familiar, of solids, liquids, and gases. Elementary physics doesn't have any of that stuff. So can we really say physical reality is material? Yet there's something about materialism that modern physics preserves. And that is that there are descriptions of a reality outside of us. Descriptions that can be valid or invalid, precise or imprecise. And we can learn about that reality through careful observation, collecting and analyzing data, creating and testing theories, you know, science. The fact that this works and has worked so extremely well is strong evidence that there's a reality outside of us, which is what it is and does what it does and behaves consistently. Physicalism says that that is the reality at the bottom of reality. It doesn't require anything else in order to exist, and nothing else exists without it. Phenomenalism, on the other hand, starts by noticing that every theory, every perception, every means we go about to acquire knowledge happens within consciousness. It's associated with thinkers like Edmund Husserl and Martin Heidegger, and bears resemblance to ideas from Eastern philosophy. Phenomenalism says that reality is not some external, objective, definite thing that we perceive, but reality is our perception itself. Images, colors, sense, spatial awareness, experience of time. Phenomenalism says that these are the things that are real. Let's take light as an example. Instead of treating light as a wave of interacting electric and magnetic fields, as we're taught in schools and science-based YouTube channels like this one, phenomenology observes that our minds represent light as this, and darkness as this. And then it declares that these appearances are what light and darkness are. Light is associated with warmth and joy, darkness with cold and gloom, to name a few. This is why we're so interested in questions like, how did the universe begin? Or what's at its center? 
What drives us is not which particular math functions fit the equations in those circumstances, but whether the universe was born in and revolves around light, or chaos, or truth, because that means something to us. Phenomenalism says these meanings are real, and because perceptions and meanings are different for everybody, reality itself is subjective. Unless, as George Berkeley and C.S. Lewis pointed out, there is some objective phenomenal reality, not a physical reality, a phenomenal reality, such as an all-seeing God whose perceptions all other realities are measured against. So which is true? Is reality made out of substances, or equations, or bits of information? Or is reality made out of phenomena, the things which appear within consciousness, and their meanings and connections? You may find yourself jumping to one of them as the common sense answer. But if we pause to give both of them a fair consideration, we find that they both make a lot of sense. Physicalism accounts for all the motion in the universe, and all the properties of substances and energy and particles. It even accounts for conscious behavior. However, it doesn't explain consciousness itself, and trying to add consciousness in doesn't change anything about the physicalist picture. Phenomenalism is all about consciousness. It explains everything that we're aware of, and why life is so rich and full of meaning. But it doesn't explain why technology works, or why scientific theories based on math work so much better than theories based on something else. Neither physicalism nor phenomenalism have contradictions, but they both leave things unexplained. However, sometime last century, Nelson Goodman realized that physicalism and phenomenalism fill each other's holes, and taken together, they explain everything we're aware of. This led him to ask, what if reality is both? He called this irrealism, the joining of two theories that are fundamentally different from one another, but when taken together, account for everything. Not special limits of some true reality, but two realities, which, when taken together, account for all that exists. Not physicalism or phenomenalism, but the union of physicalism and phenomenalism. If you found this discussion interesting or boring, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more science and sci-fi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.